all began with a seminar called Religion, Spirituality, and the Arts, which started about two years ago. When the class was over, all of us said, well, we want to keep studying together. I always had a vision and a dream that uh, we could bring together artists from many different artistic disciplines to study one sacred text and to see that text through the eyes of a contemporary artist. This particular uh, exhibit and performance was focused on Jacob's dreams. And we've all created this art, and we got down to December of last year, and we hadn't, we'd been doing all the study, but nobody planned a show. And the deadline was the beginning of March. So I came up with an idea. And when they first heard what I wanted to do, it was suggested, that's too big. I had to remind everybody that the theme was dream, and you have to dream big. We finally decided how we're going to do it more uh, to create an idea of a dream, not specifically wrap the whole arts garden in the fabric, but maybe have people uh, to feel that they're in a dreamy space. You know, the opportunity for artists to come together from dis different disciplines doesn't happen that often. You know, musicians talk with musicians, visual artists talk with visual artists, but here we get the perspectives from the variety of the arts uh, in order to see more deeply into what we're reading and thinking. Sophia painted and I wrote a poem. We started with a glass of wine, talking about what we envisioned. At one point, I went and saw Sophia's painting and the colors in her painting made their way into my poem. The clematis spills off the fence onto grass, onto patio, covering weeds and hiding cracked concrete. Collaborating with the other artists on this project is really cool. It's really fun. It, um, I'd say it feeds my soul, like it helps me to be creative in a different way. What I would want an audience member to take away would be just five minutes of quiet and just listening to something and not necessarily overthinking it. Bruce Lowenthal's sculpture, Rain of Light, is now uh, sort of semi-permanently on display here in the Arts Gardens. I think what we did was build a community around art. It was a dream, and it's always great when dreams can come true, and that's what really happened today, a dream came true. Mm -hmm.